This is from Twitter. Chloe Dutch says, common on vitamin D and its help in preventing cancer. Michael, take it away. Yeah, so we know vitamin D is great for the bones. Institute of Medicine actually came out and just tripled their recommendation of how much we should have. But we really don't know about the effects on cancer, heart disease. We have shown some possible increase in those conditions in people who have low levels of vitamin D. At this point, we really don't know. And for instance, the Institute of Medicine really just is not willing to make that And they had that study come out. But so, so or, and too much vitamin D is too much. Yeah, absolutely. Not good for you, right? So you can get it from your multivitamin supplement, right? Yeah, and if you just or get it from your multivitamin, you're probably not going to get too much. But there are actually supplements on the market that contain more vitamin D than you should actually get in an entire day. And how many day. should you have? How many I use? They just increased I, it to a ma well, the upper absolute upper is about three thousand, mm -hmm. but really you only need about six to eight hundred depending on your age. But vitamin D really is important because did, didn't they do a whole study? And maybe I'm crazy, but I just remember this about multi th that's a separate issue, but about multiple sclerosis being more so prominent in in in, in dark and talked, areas yeah. where, there, where there's not this. sunshine, which is one of the biggest sources right. of vitamin D. You and I talked about this. So there are these associations. Mm -hmm. People who have low vitamin D have higher incidence of breast cancer, of colon cancer, of prostate cancer, maybe even multiple sclerosis. But it's a whole other thing to say that giving vitamin right. D is going to prevent those. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we don't know. But seasonal affective disorder kind of makes sense, right? The people right. who they need the light in order to, uh, you know, get... Feel, feel better, less depressed mm -hmm. than you give them, maybe, and then their vitamin D is low. And I've had some patients just parenthetically, I give them vitamin D and they say that their depression gets better. Now, there's a placebo effect that's right. huge. Who knows? But I think it's really important to not do what we always do with these things, is jump on the latest vitamin and say, oh, you know, if, if 10 milligrams good, yeah. 1,000 milligrams. And sure enough, better. though, there's going to be another study that tells you something else. Not so I think right. probably everything in moderation. Including and again, what excess. is the highest point of, of the, the up the, the highest level of vitamin D you should be taking? I think they, they actually, I think, increased it to about 3,000. But you don't really, for your regular daily, you don't need nearly that much.